Thank you very much. At this time, uh, for our invocation, I would like to introduce to you Lieutenant William Staub of the Cleveland Firefighters Department. He's the chaplain. Let us bow our heads now and call to mind the presence of our God who dwells here among us. All good and gracious God, we come here today to honor those men and women who have given their lives in service to your people. We thank you for the time that we have had with them and for the example example of unselfish love they have shown to us. Guard, protect, and defend those they have left behind, and watch over all firemen who risk their lives for your people, whose God you are. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You know, we're here because we want to honor firefighters, paramedics, and EMS. These are the people that we hope we never need, but boy, are we grateful when they do show up. In 1989, my house burnt down, and a firefighter saved my life by throwing me down a flight of steps, and I'm very, very grateful. So that's why I'm here to do this, and I'm sure each of you have your own reasons, but uh, I just want to personally thank each and every one of you for coming out to do this ride every year. At this time, though, I need to introduce the guy who brings us all together for the last eight years. Would you please put your hands together for Mr. John Kix Kickle, president of the Firefighters Memorial Ride. Well, thank you very much, and again, thanks for your support. The one person I do want to recognize real quick, though, is Monica Robbins. Her dedication to this event and all of the events that I put together for the military police has been overwhelming. I don't, there's a few things you need to know about Monica. One, she does write a Harley. And two, she's actually a singer in a band and got home and got to bed at 4.45 this morning, which is probably later than most of the other guys got to bed. But I want to show Monica how much we appreciate all the things she does for us. I have a whole group of guys standing over here that I want to introduce very quickly. Kenny Ripka, he's a vice president, secretary, retired chief, if you're, uh, is Kenny here? Oh, he's over with the pipes and drums. Uh, Tom Perk, vice president, retired uh, Cleveland Fire Department. Um, Richard Bowman, treasurer, captain, Cleveland Fire Department. He's the money guy. Rusty Henning, battalion chief, Cleveland Fire Department. Uh, Tim Beck, firefighter, Maple Heights. Randy Antonio, paramedic, Cleveland EMS. Pat Greenhill, police. I'm not sure Pat's over there with the police, but the real uh, police department, he's the one who helps us get all the police and uh, uh, the escorts. Brad Huffman, firefighter, Middleburg Heights. Brad, thank you. Tom McGill, retired captain, Cleveland Fire. Vince Gambino, where's Vince? Vince, right in the front. Firefighter, Russell, uh, fire department. Kim Ware, Kim? Where's Kim? Sure. Kim, her husband is, uh, here's Kim over here. Her uh, husband is a you know, firefighter in North Homestead. Mike Stevens, Mike Stevens is the, uh, the host of this event. Where's Michael? Where, Mike? Over here on that side. Mike, thank you very much. So seeing as this is Memorial Day, I, I would like to ask all of you to just remove your caps for a moment. A moment of silence to honor all those nations fallen heroes have given their lives, men and women, for our freedoms, their families, who have sacrificed so much, and especially the Gold Star families. Thank you. Without, without those men and women, we wouldn't have the freedoms to be able to do the things that we do. Uh, I, I know it's a hot day, so I'm going to just give a few brief facts that I think it's always important to highlight. We lost 83 firefighters nationally last year, of which 50 of them were volunteer firefighters. 60% of the fatalities were volunteers. Uh, the number one cause of firefighters is heart attacks, uh, stress and overexertion, going from relaxation to the emergency, and, and, and unfortunately, they have firefighters. Residential firefighters last year, there were 362,000 residential firefighters, resulted in loss of 2,555 deaths, over 6 billion losses. Um, you know, we may take for granted our local firefighters, but as Monica said, when you need them, 